Hey everybody and welcome back to Plus Ultra Pitching. I haven't posted here in a little bit because I've been busy with my own softball season, but I'm excited to have a couple more videos to share with you before we go on our August summer break. Today's video, what I wanted to focus on was a trend I've been seeing in a lot of my pitchers and that is keeping a really tense throwing elbow when they're throwing. And I don't know if that's from me telling them to try to keep their elbow bent while they're coming through so it's not a robot arm or if it's just what they naturally want to try to do. But I really want to make sure that you all know when I say a bent elbow, what I'm talking about is a loose, relaxed, softened elbow. You want to keep your throwing arm as long as possible in your motion so that your the circle that this ball travels on is going to be as long as possible so you can get as much power as you possibly can. What we don't want to see is people short arming their motion and keeping their arm too bent. You're going to lose a lot of power that way and also a lot of consistency. So today I've got a couple of drills that I can share with you that will hopefully help you feel the nice loose relaxedness that you want to feel coming through the arm circle. <clears throat> One of the first drills that I do with my students, I take a dish towel and I just tie a knot right at the end of it. And I just have them do maybe 10 arm circles in their power K position with this knotted towel. And it really helps your arm elongate because the extra weight from the end of the towel helps to straighten your arm out while keeping it nice and loose and relaxed. It's gonna be hard this is not the circle, circle you're looking for. You want the knot to be to travel in as big of a circle as you possibly can while doing this. Another option is if you have a baseball or a lacrosse ball, you can put it in maybe a long softball sock and do the same thing with a little extra weight at the end. Another drill that I like having my students do to feel a nice, loose, relaxed arm circle and whip, I've just been calling it a two circle drill. So. I'm sure you'll be able to guess what I'm about to do. <laughs> you're going to get into your power K position and you're going to do two arm circles. The first arm circle, you're not going to throw it. You're not going to throw the ball until you finish your second arm circle. One, two, pitch. Things we don't want to see with this drill, pitch, right? Keep it nice, long, and loose. So try to imagine this softball is a crayon or a pencil and you're drawing as big of a circle as you possibly can while keeping your arm as loose as possible. So one, two, pitch. So again, we're staying long but not robot arm, right? So not locked out, a nice soft elbow. The last drill that's one of my favorites because it really helps you feel relaxed and it also helps you develop some rhythm within your pitch. I, I like to call them walkthroughs. Other people might have different names for them. Essentially, you're just gonna walk through a full motion pitch at maybe 50, no more than 75% of your full speed. We're not sprinting, we're walking towards our catcher. So I'm a righty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a step with my left foot, a step with my right foot, and as I'm stepping forward with my right foot, my arms are going to start reaching nice and long out towards my catcher. As I step again forward with my left foot, I'll finish my circle and pitch it to the catcher. So all in all, it'll look something like this. Left foot, right foot, left pitch. This is a great drill for you again to develop rhythm, but also to just practice feeling nice and long in your motion and staying relaxed throughout your whole arm circle. I'm obviously throwing it into a net, but walkthroughs are a great drill that you can do with a catcher from a little bit further back. All right, so those are the three drills that I have for you today. Again, just to recap and summarize, I can't, I can't state the importance of this enough. You want to make sure your arm path when you're pitching is as long as possible, as loose and relaxed as possible at the same time. 
not robot arm, not showing off your biceps, a nice, loose, relaxed, long throwing arm. A couple of drills that can help with that are a knotted towel. So as you go around your circle, you can feel the weight, bring your arm around. You can also do the two circle drill. So you can feel the flow of an arm circle. And then the last drill I showed you today was a walkthrough drill so that you can start feeling relaxed and also develop rhythm within that nice relaxed state. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel. I do put out new videos every week. And as always, Plus Ultra!